0-1 as a professional, as we just heard, and Brian Keller, 1-1, fighting out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And the interesting thing about that, you mentioned their records and their pro fights. Here's the thing, Brian Keller fought Jeff Curran, who's currently outstanding in the WEC. Brian King fought Matt Brown, he's in the, he's in the UFC. So both these guys fought some pretty talented fighters. So don't let those records deceive you, these are a couple of very good fighters. Distinctive, uh, you know, height and reach advantage uh, for Brian Keller at 5'11". Wrestling background for Brian King. Talking to his manager earlier this week, I asked about that wrestling background, background and they said Brian Keller could take down a fire hydrant. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that description that's a, before. That's a, yeah, that's that's it's, that's a tough takedown. Well, we'll see what type of uh, takedown. Oh, nice body kick with the right. Brian Keller coming out striking early. And a little bit of a feeling out process uh, yeah. here. Going Being very on. cautious. Brian King, also an assistant wrestling coach at his alma mater at Elmwood now. Well, his wrestlers, are, wrestlers are very proud of him and uh, interested in watching him in his, uh, in his MMA career. Well, he hasn't yet gone for a takedown yet, and so we don't know what, what kind of takedown the fence Keller has. Keeps going for that high head kick. Yeah, it is interesting considering his uh, prowess on the mat. You'd think he might be shooting a little bit more, but he's content to stand and bang and see what happens with the strikes. Yeah, Keller right now, I think, is trying to work on the distance because obviously, uh, Keller, the King is working on it. There's that takedown. There's that takedown. That's what we talked about. Now he's got side, side control. Side control. He's going to try and uh, move that left arm. It is Brian King. Position his legs for the full mount. This is going to be a choke for Brian Keller now. Dominating position, wants to fix the wrist in a position where he can land some shots. Keller won his last fight on the ground with a rear naked choke. Scramble, now in the half guard of Keller. Beat Jason Wiggins back at the Vengeance Fighting Championships in September of last year. Oh, Hitman, Jason Wiggins. Well, side control by Brian King. I'm trying to get position here. Obviously, he wants to take this fight to the ground with that wrestling background. I think that'd be the goal of any fighter if he could take down a fight. Absolutely. <laughs> I asked about his work from his back, too, and he may be on it right now. Uh, there it is. Keller. I asked about Keller's or, uh, Brian King's work from his back, and I was told if you can take him down, I'd or if you can keep him down, excuse me, I'd like to see it. So he's going to find a way to get back to his feet. That's that situation right here. Not full mount just yet. Uh, King using his... Uh, Side and now, uh, now it's uh, purely on the back there. Scramble comes. Oh, right. that reversal. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time, three minutes, 51 seconds of a round number one. Your winner by tap out via a arm bar from Charlotte, North Carolina, Brian Keller. I'll 
ball fight because I got stuck there. I'm sure you're good everybody know how I know about the bowling. He got me one time. Uh, Brian, Brian, obviously a great wrestler. You were comfortable taking it to the ground? Absolutely. That's three tips on the purple belt in uh, Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Gracie Boy, Joe Hurst. I'd like to thank WNC Combat Club out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Everybody check them out on the internet.